Good morning, I'm Carolyn. This is another episode of As I See It. So this morning I thought we could have a discussion about leadership. I posted a letter yesterday on the community tab uh, that I emailed to President Biden about my dissatisfaction in his leadership. And many of you pushed back. I said, you have I, you know, I told the president, you have control of Congress, and yet you're not able to get anything done. And some of the pushback was he doesn't have control because the Senate's 50-50 and two Democrats aren't reliable. Here's how I see it. A strong leader does not let two of his team members hold up what's best for the country, or if he's a CEO, an organization, or if he's a manager of Starbucks, no good strong leader is going to allow two members to hold up what's best for everybody. That's how I see it. So while Senate is split 50-50, you know, 50 Democrats, 50 Republicans. The VP is the t- the tiebreaker. Kamala Harris is the tiebreaker. So that, I mean, as a strong leader, Biden should be doing everything in his power. Threats, blackmail, I don't care what it is. <laughs> You're not going to get any more money from the, de- uh, from the Democrats. Uh, you- we're going to strip you of committee, sh- uh, committee seats or whatever it is. That's what he needs to be doing to make those two Democrats fall in line. They're Democrats. They should not be falling on the side of anti-choice, for example. They just shouldn't be. I can't imagine anyone in their state voted for them no, thinking that they would be anti-choice. Biden, it needs to be a, he needs to be tough enough. He needs to be a strong leader. And here's how I see it again. The Republicans have been diligent, consistent, brutal in their efforts to get their agenda passed. I don't they I don't think they have ever had this issue where they're held up on, um, you know, furthering whatever agenda it is of theirs. I don't think they've ever let two members hold their hold them back. Why are the Democrats? This is how I see it. Okay. Republicans are willing to do whatever it takes. I lie, cheat, steal, find every loophole, push every boundary, um, you know, push every envelope. We need to have that same passion. And I'm not seeing it from the Democrats. I'm just not seeing it. You can't play by the rules if the other party completely ripped up the rule book. And that's how I feel about it. That's how I think we are where we are. And that was kind of the point I was trying to make to Biden in that letter. And in case you didn't see it, it's also on the uh, Facebook friendly page there. But there's a community tab here and I've been posting action items there, things that we can do. So um, I know like on a tablet, I think someone just told me on a tablet, they can't see the community tab. So you might need to log on a laptop if you can to see it. Um, I posted a letter that you can share. And that's how I see it. Yeah, we have control of Congress. Democrats uh, control the House and we control the Senate with the VP tiebreaker. It is up to the leader of the party, our president, to make those two people fall in line. Period. That's what a leader does. And if the leader of what used to be the strongest country uh, on the planet, if the, if the leader of the free world can't get his two party members to fall in line, maybe he's not the man for the job, the person for the job, AOC man. I wish AOC could run, but I think it might be time. I don't know that I would vote for him again, but we'll have to see, but that's how I see it. And I just wanted to share that with you. I'll see you soon. Bye.